Hey guys, my name is Antonio Arce. In this video, I'm going to show you how you create your first Visual Basic for Applications in Excel uh, software. In this case, we're going to create a software that actually just displays a, mes a message. Uh, we're going to say hello world through Visual Basic Applications in Excel. So let's go to Excel. You can open any Excel file. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to access your quick access toolbar, which is this button on the top here. Then you go to more comments. And what we're going to do here is actually um, enable the developer tab. By default, if you have never used it, uh, you're gonna, it's going to be turned off. So you, what you need to do, go to customize ribbon. And then here, you're going to see developer, right? And it's on check. When you check this out and click OK, you're going to see on the top this new tab that opened. This is where you're going to control uh, Visual Basic for applications in Excel. So in this case, what we want to do is just create a simple macro, simple software, right? That is just or, uh, basically a button that whenever you click there, it's going to display the message, right? Then we're going to complicate it uh, with other videos. But for now, just keep it simple. It's your first macro. You're going to be proud of, proud of yourself. Uh, so let's give it a try. Uh, so here, when you access your developer tab, one of the things you have here is your controls. And you have this insert button. Now, you have when you click here, you get different controls, right? Where you see, will see a button. You will see a combo box. Uh, you can see a checkbox, and basically these are the controls that you can add to your spreadsheet so that uh, people or users can interact with your program. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to explain later what form, form controls are and ActiveX. For now, this is, you know, let's keep it simple. We're going to use the ActiveX controls, and we're going to select this one, which is the button. When you click here, it will actually change your cur cursor so that you can actually draw your button. So you start clicking and you know continue to press it, create how big you want your button, and then release it. What it di this did is just you know basically created a button for you, which is called Command Button One. For now, don't worry about it. We're not going to change any any names in it. We're just going to go and create code. Uh, another thing you want to note is that on developer, you see this design mode. From here, this is a toggle button that you basically a switch that you're telling Excel, hey, uh, I'm going to be a designer. I'm going to you know, write some code or I'm going to be you know, actually using the tool. So when this is pressed, actually, let me just release it. This is, this is unpressed. It means that it will execute whatever is basically on play mode. Whenever you click here, that button is actually trying to do something, but you know it won't do anything because we haven't we haven't wrote any code in it, so it doesn't have anything to do. It's just pressing right now. It's just pressing it. When you click here, design mode, you see you enable your design mode. Now you are on developer mode. Now when you click here, you'll see the the cursor actually change, so it has like the four arrows, which you know allows you to select it and move it around wherever you want to place it. Or even kind of you know make it smaller if you like, and you can double click it. And when you double click it, let me just open this new window. This is our Visual Basic editor. Uh, here's where you really program uh, your code. So in here, what we're gonna do is just type in a quick uh, a quick comment so that it actually shows a message, right? So in this case, we're gonna say. Uh, message box uh, and then you just type your your whatever message you want to display now you want to do that inside of this right because this is what it's in a in bba called a sub or a subroutine subroutine will execute a code that is inside of it uh as long as it's, it's called right whenever you call a subroutine it will go into that subroutine in this case it's called it's called common Command button one click. Whenever you call that, which the button is actually calling, it will execute whatever is inside of here. So here's where we place our code. No worry about that. We're going to cover that later in detail. For now, just let's type in MSG box 
right? This is a command in Excel to just display a message box. Uh, in this case, you can just, you know, let's say put in quotes, right? Because you want to tell Excel, this is text I want you to, dis to display. And whenever you're working with text, you, you got to place it in double quotes. So let's say open quotes, right? And say, hello world. My name is Antonio Arce. And you just type your name, right? Now that we have this, right? This is a separate window from the Excel. You can basically turn off the design mode. So now you're in plain mode. And whenever you click here, look at what happens. Now it shows you uh, basically the message that you just wrote on your Visual Basic Editor. You click OK. The command, the, the basically the software stops running. And you have completed your execution. Another thing I want to just quickly show you uh, right up front, when I actually started programming, uh, it took me a, a, a lot of headaches uh, because I just didn't know that you can debug and go step by step in Visual Basic. So the way you do that, if you're in the gray area here on your Visual, uh, on your editor, you click here, right next to a command, you'll see this uh, this kind of red uh, dot here, right? And this is what is called a debug point. So if I go now in playing mode and click play, what it's going to do is just, you know, you'll see this yellow. It basically is stopped right before the execution of that command. So what I what I see yellow there is basically the command that's going to get executed later after I click like, you know, press uh, F8. Or you can just right click here and say debug, right? And this will open your debug uh, settings. And you can click here which is going to go step by step as executing. So that way you can see what your software is doing. And plus, if you have variables and everything, you can actually check the values and see if the program is doing what it's supposed to do, right? So for now, you just click F8 or just pre press here. When you click that, you'll see that it executed that command, which was, hello world, my name is Antonio Arce. So I see it here. I click OK. Now it's going to go back. And go to to the other command. Uh, to the other command. This case is the end sub. So basically, it's exiting the subroutine, and it should finish, right? If I click F8 here, boom, it finished. So now we just already created our first program. Now, if you want to complicate this a little bit and and you know see how I can read information uh, based on whatever a cell value has. Now we're what we're gonna do. Let's just remove this because it's small, and maybe we're going to say instead of the name, you know, getting it directly from here, I'm going to concatenate that. And the way you concatenate, concatenate information is using the ampersand. And I want it to read information from the cell A1, right? So I can say, I can say cells, and I open a parenthesis. Basically, that cells is a common in Excel. So by default, like functions in Excel, it, it you need to pass some parameters. In this case, this function recognizes the row index and the column index. So you want to say, okay, give me, you know, whenever it's going to show this message, it's going to say, hello world, my name is, and it's going to pick the value from the cell I'm going to specify. If we're going to talk about cell a1 we probably want to say one one because it's row one column one so let's go here one comma one right and look at that when, when i type in uh one is basically uh we put it some bold row index because that's what basically i'm typing it when i'm done i click comma it's gonna now put bold the column in, column index, which is going to be one as well, right? Because we're in cell one one. Now uh, I want to add a space here so that whenever it picks the name in cell A one, you know, it doesn't put it right after the S, uh, the S, right? So now I have this command here. It's going to say hello, my name, hello world, my name is, and whatever value has cell the cell one one, which in this case is going to be this one. So I'm going to say I'm going to be called Luis, right? And now that I click, I'm in design mode off. 
So uh, basically, you're going to play it. I click play. And now it's saying, hello, world. My name is Luis. Now, all that we can complicate a lot more and more and more. We have a bunch of materials to actually cover here to show you how to use Visual Basic. But for now, you know, I just wanted to explain to you how you can show a message, how you actually uh, play and add buttons, drop downs, all, all that kind of stuff, plus how you actually read information from a cell. So just go ahead, play around while we create more content for you, more videos to actually show you how to use Excel. If you like this channel, please subscribe. That really uh, helps us motivate uh, ourselves to, you know, create more content. If you have questions, any materials you want to add, you know, just go ahead and, and submit, send us a comment and we will read it, get back to you. Uh, we're looking forward to it. So, well, thank you guys. I see, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.